So I just purchased Book Like a Boss online booking system through AppSumo. They had a great deal going, so I thought I would try it out. I currently use You Can Book Me and I pay about $20 a month. And I picked this up, this Book Like a Boss system for $39 for lifetime access. So I thought I would show you as I was setting it up how to be able to do it yourself. Okay, so I have just purchased Book Like a Boss, which was a deal through AppSumo was $39 for lifetime access to this particular software. It's cloud-based and it is for online bookings for appointments or uh, projects. So up until now, I've been using You Can Book Me, which I really like. Uh, I have used Calendly in the past, which I did not like so much, but I do like You Can Book Me. So I thought I would give this a try. It's a, a good price and lifetime access, which means no recurring monthly membership price. So I thought I would go on here and set it up while I'm screencasting so that I can show you how hopefully easy it is for you to set up and create your own online booking. So the first page that you're going to land on is your dashboard which will tell you if you have recent orders or it looks like any bookings or events, tells you what the uh, Big Boss Lifetime AppSumo plan comes with. So now I just wanna set it up. So I'm gonna go over to Profile Details. So there's a place for your first name, last name, your title, uh, a little bit about yourself if you wanna put a bio in there, change your time zone, your currency for uh, collecting payments. You can do a welcome video on this page, which I will do, but I haven't yet. So that's where you'll put in your YouTube video ID. This looks like it'll have an affiliate link on the bottom of it. So um, I do happen to use affiliate links for programs that I like and recommend to others. So I'm going to leave this on for now. I'm not sure how it's going to look on my page. We'll see. I've got my Facebook page URL in there, my Twitter handle and my LinkedIn URL as well. And then I'm just gonna click update. So that was pretty easy to update the profile page. Now you've got profile photos. So uh, it tells you the size of the cover photo here. And so I just went over to PicMonkey and just created a really simple cover photo in that size. So now that I've done that, I can just click here to upload that. Then it asked me if I want to crop it, which I don't in this case because I made it the right size. So crop and save. Great. And now I've got my cover photo on here. So let's scroll down to profile photo. So again, it says 200 by 200. So let's click on that. Okay, so it's asking me to crop it. Crop and save. Great. So now I've got my profile photo in here. And it says it was successfully updated, so I don't have to save it. Now we'll go over to Gallery. So as it says here, the first 10 images will be displayed on your profile page. Thumbnails will enlarge once clicked on. Now in this case, I don't really think that there's any uh, files here that I want to upload. So, But if you had uh, profile photos, uh, maybe portfolio photos or something like that, looks like you could upload them here. We'll click on FAQ. So these would be FAQs for those who come to this particular page to book with you. Then you can simply add it as an FAQ. So because I have multiple kinds of bookings with two different businesses, I'm not going to add any FAQs here. But it looks as simple as clicking on FAQ, enter the question, enter the answer, and then save it. You've even got some simple formatting up at the top here. Now let's go over to comments. So this is interesting. This looks like you can have the ability to display, to display Facebook comments on your profile. So I'm not sure if these would be comments for posts or what it would be for. Let's turn this on. Yeah, and it's gonna show uh, the most recent posts probably. And so it's saying how many you know, of your most recent posts you wanna show here. So again, because I have two different businesses that I'm gonna be using this for, I don't want to put on posts from one of the pages, but this is kind of a cool feature. We'll go to messages now. So here we are on the messages tab, 
And it looks like these would be messages from prospective uh, clients or customers who are going to book with you. And maybe they have a question before they book or something. And so I'm assuming you would get notifications, although I'm unsure about that because, again, I'm just setting this up. So I can do an update video and let you know about the messages on an, another video. Okay, so let's scroll down now and go to calendar so I can hook up my calendar here. So this is where you'd be able to see your bookings, but I want to integrate my Google Calendar with this calendar as well. So we've got the Calendar Connect section, so let's go ahead and add a calendar. And I use Google Calendar, so I'm going to click on Google. I'm going to log in to my Google account. And it says I've successfully connected my calendar. Now the reason that I wanted to do this before I set up a booking schedule is I actually like the ability for the software that I'm using to read my calendar and figure out when those bookings can happen. So that's why I wanted to set this up first. So let's scroll down here and it shows the connected calendars. So it's this one, personal and work schedule that I want it to read. So I want it to send the bookings through Book Like a Boss to that calendar and I want it to use the appointments and events from that calendar to block availability. And I'm going to do the same thing for my work schedule. So this way, uh, this software will actually read my calendar and so it won't double book me with anything. Then I'm going to click on update. Okay, so now it has pulled everything from my personal and work calendar into this calendar here so that I won't get double booked. Uh, when someone's trying to book an appointment on this book like the boss. So now I'm going to go over to my booking schedule and I like to have a four day win, uh, four hour window so I'm going to go down here and put in four hours which means that no one can book an appointment with me within four hours because when I'm looking at my day I want to know what's coming up for that day. I don't want a surprise appointment happening so I like a four hour time window here. So padding is the amount of time that you want to allow between appointments. So I usually do 30 minutes between appointments so that I can take a little break if I need to. And so that's the padding here. So you, again, can determine how long you want in between appointments. Now down here on interval, it uh, shows time slots. So someone could start an appointment at 11 or 11.15 or 11.30 or 11.45. Now if you only want them to start at 11 or 11.30 or 12, you can move this to every half hour. I'm fine with every 15 minutes, so I'm going to change that and click on update. So let's scroll down. There's another section here. So you have the ability to update your availability on a weekly basis. The only days that I want to uh, not be available are Sunday. Let's see if we can move that right off. Okay, so that looks like if I meet the buttons in the middle that it won't actually give a time range for Sunday, which means that people won't be able to book appointments with me on a Sunday or a Saturday. I want to do the same thing. And again, we'll test this just to make sure. And Fridays, I take a half day. So I'm available between 9 and, let's say, 12.30. Um, and then Mondays, 9 to 5, sure. Tuesdays, Wednesdays, Thursdays. Yep, that looks good. Okay, so again, it doesn't look like there is a save or update here. So everything should be set now. So the next thing before I set up my packages and appointments, I'm going to set up payment settings. Okay, so you need to either have a Stripe account already set up or a PayPal account already set up. In this case, I have both and I'm going to connect it to both and that way clients and whoever's booking an appointment with me that might be a paid appointment like a consultation, uh, they have the option then to pay by PayPal or by Stripe. So I'm going to put in my payment, PayPal email address here and click on save. So if I just wanted PayPal, I could leave it as is, but I'm going to connect to my Stripe account as well. So it takes me over to Stripe and asks me to log in. 
Okay, now it says this is the, the right Stripe account as I'm logged in as this person. And so I'm going to click on connect to my Stripe account. Perfect, so now Stripe and PayPal are both connected. And that was super easy to be able to set up payment gateways here. Okay, so now let's put in appointments. Okay, so as we can see, this is appointment only. So this is only for bookings that don't um, that you're not charging for. So these might be discovery calls or um, you know chats with with current clients, something like that. This is where you could um, set up your appointments. Okay, so for this, I'm actually going to have my You Can Book Me account up here because I have all my services listed already. So I can just copy and paste them over to this new booking system. So I'm going to click on add and the title is going to be the kind of uh, consultation or appointment. So in this case it's going to be a discovery call and that is 30 minutes long and then I'm going to put in a description of the service. So this is just my sort of initial consultation or discovery call. And then it asks me whether I want to hide it or not. So meaning the appointment sh won't show up on your main page. So if this is maybe a, a call for current clients, uh, maybe you're a coach and you do client calls with the same client once a week, maybe you don't want that on the primary, on your main page. But uh, in this case, I do want it on my main page. So I'm just gonna click on save. All right, so it's already showing me here and it's giving me an actual URL so I can actually send that URL to someone for this particular booking. In this case, let's go back and have a look at our page here and see how it's looking so far. Okay, so we've got the cover photo, we've got the profile photo, we've got links to a couple of different social sites, we've got contact me, which I'm assuming is that message function. Uh, there is an about me section and so it looks like it still shows up whether or not you put anything in here. So I'm going to add an about me section and then it's got the uh, one particular service that I have available on this page here. So then they can just go ahead and click on this and click on book me. They put in their name, their email, their message and click on book it. So again we'll test this at the end but these are available times that I have and they can change their time zone so it makes sense to them and then they just click on book me. So it looks like what I need to do here is fill in my about me section and I need to add the rest of my services so I'm going to go ahead and do that now. Okay so I only have two appointments uh, or non-paid uh, call time with me so this part is already done so let's go down now to packages. Okay, so this is actually where you can sell a service. So a consultation, a, uh, it says here, logo design, massage, consulting, dog walking, whatever your product might be. You can also uh, sell physical, physical products or digital products here it looks like as well. So I'm going to add a package. And again, I'm gonna go over to You Can Book Me and let's look for one of my paid packages. So here's a 90 minute consultation or strategy session. So I'm just gonna copy that over. And that's 90 minutes, so that's one hour and 30 minutes. This is a service. Clients will be asked to choose a date and time, yes. And I want them to be able to pay online and put in the price here. And this is gonna be whatever currency you've listed on your profile page. And then we put in the description. And I don't want to hide this, so I'm going to click on Save Package. So, so far, this has been a super easy process. I'm really pleased at how quick and easy this is to set up. So I'm going to go ahead and add the rest of my packages now. Okay, so this one is all set up, and this is for a Thinkific service that I offer. Again, I don't want to hide it. Click on Save Package. Okay, so I've added in my different packages now. I've done my payment settings, my appointment, my calendar, my booking schedule. Let's go over here to orders. So this is just going to be a summary of the order so far. Click on clients. Okay, it says I have no clients yet because no one has booked anything. Obviously, this isn't live yet. Under billing, this is just if you want to update, update your credit card here. And then you've got your account settings. So email address is correct. Current password, I could change it there if I wanted to. 
you can change your plan here and need some help. And I like this uh, option of asking the Facebook group here. So you can hop right over to their Facebook group and ask your questions. If you're looking for a way to be able to set up a really easy online payment system and at this price point, it's kind of a no-brainer. Um, I, I like the look of what I'm seeing so far. Okay, so as I said at the beginning of this video, the last step that we need to do here is we need to view our page. So I'm going to click on view my page and we need to be able to test it. So great, I've added the about me section, so we've got a little bit of an about me there. And then we have our booking, which looks like it's just taking a minute to load. Awesome, so here we go, we've got the discovery call and that is the that's the appointment at the top here and then we've got the different products and services so I'm going to go ahead and book and see what happens okay great so it looks like when someone books it does give them the option to add to this to their calendar right away so although they might not get a notification until that feature is released they can quickly and easily add it to their own calendar here okay so here I am on my email and here's something to really uh, notice is that I noticed that the new booking notification to me is actually under my promotions tab instead of my primary tab which means I could miss it so I'm just going to grab that and drag it up to my primary tab so that any future so click on yes here, any future messages go into the primary account. And the other one I want is your booking is confirmed. So this is what potential clients could get. And so let me just see how this looks here. So your booking is confirmed, it says what the booking is, date and time, the details, and it also gives my contact for my booking page here and the option to add to the calendar. So that's pretty, that's pretty great. They have their notification that they need when they book and it's emailed to them as well. So they may not get a reminder before the booking, but it looks like everything is uh, really easy to walk through from a customer or client end, as well as setting it up for you with your services and products. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and share with your friends.